Hi everyone, this is Sheridan with Garden Guys and Gal. I'm standing out in my apple orchard. I have 17 apple trees that I care for um, and spray so that we can eat the apples and so that our horse and our goat and our chickens can eat the apples. Everybody really depends on them. So it's an important crop at my house. Um, and you can see in the apple tree right up behind me, the leaves don't look quite right. They look like this. I've been getting a lot of questions about this on Facebook on our Utah's Gardening Experts page. And this is a problem that is created by something that's kind of like an insect. It's in the arachnid family, so it has a few more legs than an insect, and it's the apple leaf or pear leaf blister mite. So um, you can see what it does. It actually pierces and sucks on the back of the leaves and causes these um, blisters, which then turn into lesions on the back of these leaves. And you can imagine that this impacts the photosynthesis on the tree and the tree's ability to create food and carbohydrates for itself so that it can provide um, a lot of really good apples. Um, this tree is heavily shaded. So this is a tree that was planted before my time, um, kind of in the wrong spot. So um, that may be a factor here, that this tree's a little bit stressed out already Already, and so the blister mites have attacked this tree. Um, I don't have it on any of my other trees, which is interesting. So how to treat this? I can't do anything about it right now. I have to tolerate this. This is a pretty heavy infestation. I'm starting to lose some leaves. Um, leaves are starting to yellow and that's okay. I mean, the tree will be all right. It's just gonna suffer a little bit um, this year. But next year, during the spring, before the tree really leaves out, I'm going to do a very heavy dormant oil application. And I can mix that with carbaryl, which is the active ingredient in seven, or I can also mix that with sulfur um, to make that dormant oil application a little more effective. So I can't do anything right now. If I was to put dormant oil on my tree right now, I would completely kill my tree and I don't wanna do that. Um, I want this tree to live. So um, next spring I will be doing my part to take care of this infestation so that we don't have it again next year. It may take a couple of years before I can really get it under control, but hopefully with some good luck, um, we can get this under control and have delicious, fantastic apples off of this beautiful tree. So if you've got this problem, now you know what to do. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening.